turning quickly, she was Miss Florida USA. But now she has been stripped of her title. Local 10's Cheyenne Malone is live from the Miss USA pageant headquarters in Hollywood to fill us in. Cheyenne. You know, Lori and Calvin, just Saturday, 66 beautiful women took the stage at Parker's Playhouse in Fort Lauderdale, all vying for that number one spot. They wanted to the crown Miss Florida USA 2017. Well, that show will air tomorrow on live broadcast, but before it even goes to live broadcast, the queen has already lost her crown. Miss Florida USA 2017. And there's the other the moment Genesis Davila had been waiting for her entire life. Last Saturday, her dream came true. Miss Miami Beach crowned the winner of Miss Florida USA 2017. That dream, though, coming to a quick end after contestant officials found out Genesis cheated for the crown. Unfortunately, our title holders saw it an unfair competitive advantage. Pageant executive producer Grant Gravitt says the rules are plain and simple. Once checked in for competition, contestants cannot seek outside help to prepare for the show, nor can they leave the premises. Rules Gravitt says Genesis violated, claiming one of her vendors outed her after this picture was posted to social media. She had multiple complaints amongst the contestants. There were some eyewitnesses, and we finally had substantial proof to link her and uh, her vendors to her room in, a, uh, in an evening which they were not allowed. We caught up with the Genesis legal team who disagrees with the decision. Once you check in, Grant said you can't have anyone coming into your hotel room, you're not able to go. Those are general rules for all the pageants. They are given to every contestant. Now, the decision of looking the other way, that's another thing. Miss Sunny Isles, though, is next in line. The first runner-up admits it's not exactly how she thought she would win. This is my fourth time competing. I'm just excited to have this opportunity. I didn't think it was going to happen, especially like this. But Lynette De Los Santos will gladly take it from here. I have waited for this for so long. I've worked so hard for this. Well, Genesis' attorney, she is a former pageant queen herself. She says these things seem to arise every time there is a winner. She says she plans to fight for Genesis to the fullest and says in her eyes, Genesis is still the beauty queen. Well, pageant officials say differently. This is the contract that Genesis would have actually had to sign to make it official. It was never signed. Keep in mind, the show will air tomorrow on Local 10 News at 9 o'clock. After that, we'll have the latest in this story on Local 10 News at 11. Reporting live from Hollywood, Cheyenne Malone, Local 10 News. Okay, Cheyenne, thanks a lot. And do know the pageant did take place last Saturday. As Cheyenne mentioned, it was recorded for broadcast Saturday, July.